Alright boys, I have been looking forward to this video all week. Now we knew the login masters were going to be Justin Reed and also CMC, but there's kind of a catch just like last week with Heinz Ward and also Chuck Howley. You can only upgrade, upgrade one of them to a 95 overall. In today's video, we're going to be doing a gameplay on both. We're going to do a little bit of Justin Reed, a little bit of CMC, and hopefully helping you guys decide which one I personally think is better and which one you guys should probably choose with that free 95. But let's see how much we can dominate with these cards. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. One we're going to start the gameplay off with today is going to be the maxed out CMC. And yes, I am running 70 out of 70 theme team. We got CMC right here, though. Human joystick, boys, for free. Actually, abilities, I'll go over the abilities real quick. But with the way our team works, we really don't have AP to spend. But... Christian McCaffrey's a dog. 99 speed if you're on a theme team. He's 96 base speed, which is insane. And remember, 98 excel, 97 agility. He has good carry, great catching, and also a really good receiving back down here. When you come down to 92 short running, I think that is the best in the game at running back. I might be wrong, but that is still ridiculous no matter what. And also, he does get 0 AP, Human Joystick, or Energizer. I like Human Joystick. I think Energizer might be better, though, because if uh, the juking is just OP in this game. You want to get your stamina back after juking. That is a really good ability. But over here, I mean, you can get route tech. I mean, red zone threat. I don't have much AP to spend, but those are cool. If you want to use your light up token as well, you could get backyard running back, yak them up, or evasive. I don't think those are really worth it. I wouldn't use it on a running back personally. But I think CMC as a base card alone is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, 99 speed with how easy the 7070 is, is, is to build as well. Now that there are cards that are getting times four, times three, the stadium gets chem, the, the jerseys get chem. A guy like CMC, I mean, even as a base 96 speed on a non theme team is insane, dude. I got to try this card out for you. All right, and on the other hand, we have our guy, Justin Reed. Like I said, we're going to do CMC first, and then we're going to jump into Justin Reed next after we do the CMC. I don't know why I'm saying that over again. But the one thing that does suck with him, though, is compared to all the other DBs in the game, I think besides Joshua Williams and maybe Charverius Ward, I think all the other ones get 99 speed. So, yes, he does not get it like CMC as well. But at the end of the day, he's still a good card. Six foot one. He's 96 man. He has 99 zone. His pursuit is a little bit low, but pursuit in this game all, all around sucks regardless. But this card looks solid i wish he got deep out zone or not deep out i wish he got deep zone ko like cam chancellor does and also ronnie lott does sadly he does not get it but he does get some man abilities and also zone abilities but like i said i am going to be off balling this card i'm going to have him playing up top for us where i think everybody probably would be playing him so we're going to run mid zone and deep end zone ko no pick artists on him the reason why i like this even though he might not make plays in this video because i can't force people to throw at him He'll come down and play routes in front of him, and also he'll play the routes in the back. I think he's going to be absolutely amazing back there. And like I said, not free, but kind of free. I guess you can just get the Chiefs 95. This is going to be a good card and be on a lot of people's team. Let's see how good he balls out with that second game. All right, boys, game number one. And I know this is my stadium because we are playing in the theme team stadium, I guess you could say. The stadiums give theme team now, which is actually really, really cool, right into the Super Bowl theme team. This helps. And I think, yeah, we should get ball first, and we get ball at half in this event. So let's go see CMC dominate in his debut. It's CMC in that pistol. We're starting the game off with a counter, man. I mean, three down linemen. I feel like we should have some success to this. Oh, yeah. Look at Dave Casser. Oh, we got the worst. I mean, we would have had a chance if I would have got the good animation right there. Was that my fault? I guess it was. I kind of maybe hit it too early when I was still on turbo. That's tough. And watching that back, dude, we had one guy to beat with a 99 speed man on a race. I mean, we had a good chance right there. And he pulled his user in. Casper getting shedded by Ed Too Tall. I mean, dude, I see the sunlight. You guys see it as well. We're getting so close. It's just so tough, though, because if you can't afford Cam Chancellor or whatever, like, yeah, if you can't afford Cam Chancellor, I think Justin Reed is going to be an amazing option, too. I'm actually super excited to use that card later. And even if I want to sell my C or Okay, this is what I'm liking to see right here. But if I want to sell my cam and sell, uh, save coins as well, that might be a good option to just go back to Terrell Davis. I truly don't think there's a wrong answer at all with these guys. This is why I kind of want Energizer, boys. Look at him. He's passed away over there on the defense. I mean, red, red barring already. Sadly, I have to take him out. I mean, this is kind of tough, but at the end of the day, we need him to be full. I am not running with the red bar. And look, that could have been a CMC. That could have been a CMC touch. That is tough, dude. I'm burning a timeout. I can't watch Terrell. Oh, that would have been awesome, man. That would have been an awesome touch right there for CMC. But they're both 99 speed. They're both really, really good running backs. And also, I think Terrell Davis is a big reason why some people might not go. Uh, Christian McCaffrey too because how good he is it's the man coverage player let's see CMC dominate right here one-on-one -on -one with oh yeah you can see the separation right there with the guy he was manned up with I mean that's not even fair dude <laughs> get Ray Lewis off of CMC 
I know he's been running a lot of two high safeties, but if we can somehow, let me fix this play real quick. If we can somehow get this one-on-one -on -one over there, I think CMC might be able to fry. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh. You guys see it. You guys see it. Get the catch. Come down with it. Come on, EA. Come on. I don't know if that's just because he was yellow bar. That is crazy. That has to be a catch every single day. 85 catching with gift wrap two on him. That is nasty, man. CMC, let's make some plays. He's locking in, man. I don't know. Our play We're not having good plays in there. That catch really ruined the vibe. Hey, here we go. We're going to make his user have to decide. If he wants to run man coverage all game, we're going to have two man beating routes over the middle. Does he go with CMC or does he go with the poster out? He went with CMC, but he didn't. Hey, that was bad defense. All oh, this is what we want to see. So close, man. There we go. I mean, he is frying his one-on-one. -on -one, so you really have to help every single time if you want to man up the running back. 92 short out running is not fair. Did not expect him to come out in goal line defense, but we are running weak side in CMC. Come on, man. We get the great leap animation. That's what we want. So far, I'm impressed. Like I said, Terrell Davis has been amazing, but I think with the help of maybe selling Cam Chancer, I think that's a big reason why some people might go with Justin Reed, but it's hard to keep CMC off the field. I think in this video, too, because I'm going to play it like how I would play Justin Reed. When we do have him, he's just going to play up top because I think that's the best way to Oh, yeah, Chanel. Oh, yeah, baby. I think he's just going to play up top for us. I think that is the best place to use a card like that. Usering him over Chanel and other linebackers, especially in the Steam team, and like Gronk and Carmichael, it's just really hard to go that way. But now, let's go try out that Justin Reed, man, we looked at before. Hey, I normally hate being on defense first because you guys know the glitch in this mode. You get it on defense first at the half and also to start the game. But this is good for us because we're going to be using Justin Reed here in the second game. And this is honestly the greatest case scenario here. I need him to make some plays. It's going to be hard, though. He is playing up top. You can't force people to throw bad reads, but he's there if he's there. So this is a stack that I actually ran a lot last year. But you can see we are playing the double stack. So if a ball comes in front of him, like a crossing route or anything, he can knock that out. And then, like I said, the deep route KO is obviously one of the better ones in the game. I just wish it was the deep zone KO so he can knock out the outside ones, too. But he's going to be playing in the interior a lot. And let's see what this guy has against us. Honestly, Justin Reed might make a play the first. All right, he was there, though. You saw Justin Reed was there. We don't have pick artists on him, so it's not going to glue like it will on Ronnie. But he was there. I know y'all saw that. Now in a defensive style gameplay, I'd rather just score fast. So we got Terrell Davis back in there instead of our CMC, which is low overall because you can only choose one. Let's score quickly. Oh, that's a risky ball. No, it's not. MVS, baby. I mean, we're going to have Justin Reed back on the field now with a seven-point lead. This is awesome. This is going perfectly according to plan. We've already forced a bad read. We, I mean, he was there. I mean, I really think if we got pick artists, we had a better chance of picking that. But I like the stack on him. You got to remember, he's probably one of the cheaper DBs to make because you only have to put in, like, I think, oh, come on, man. Is that Justin Reed right there? That's the negative, though. I will say, there. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys in these videos, as I always say, that right there, he does not get deep zone KO. If he had deep zone KO, that's a knockout. You know what I mean? Instead, we only have deep in, which is definitely a negative. Let's see. Is he going to attack that sideline again? Uh-oh, boys. Is that him? Come on, Justin Reed making a bay. He made up for it on the next play. Let's go, baby. Right now, as it stands, I think I am leaning keeping Cam Chancer and just overpaying there because I think that ability is just that good this year. I think deep zone is amazing. Missing that deep out is going to cost you a lot, especially against good players. But... He has played good so far. He has been in the area every single time. You can see he's snapping on the ball despite the low pursuit. Come on, baby. Another play action. Uh-oh. What is he just chucking something crazy? Nice rain lane, man. Our defense is snapping right now. Oh, can we make? Hold on. Oh, I thought the play might have been longer there. Two possession lead. Can we do it with just only two offensive plays? I don't know, boys. It looks like he got stuck on the D-line. That is perfect. Can we freeform this through? Oh, he really tipped that ball. Wow. I thought we had a touch. He tipped that. That's why I couldn't catch it. What was that? Was that Eric Berry? I, I don't know if that was the captain Eric Berry or the LTD, but that is an insane, insane play right there. And Plaxico, come on, man. Let's turn this into a touchdown. Let's get Justin Reed back out here one more time. We are eating right now. This is absolutely awesome gameplay. The offense is fragging. Justin Reed's having himself a solid gameplay. Plax has another touchdown. Come on, man. Justin Reed, I need one more play out of you. And nope, it looks like we are going to get a rage quit on that one, boys. He gets ball at half, and he was going to get the ball again right there, but Justin Reed did his duties. Boys, I know that wasn't the longest video in the world. I Hopefully, I got enough gameplay for you guys to see both players, at least. I will say, 
CMC is a dog. I think he is probably the best non-X Factor running back in the game. I think Terrell Davis is also really, really good. But the reason why I like him a little bit more than Terrell Davis is because I think Justin Reed is probably the worst safety out of the Super Bowl safeties. Like, I think Jair Brown is better. I also think Ronnie Lott's better. I think Cam Chancellor's better. So he's the fourth best player in his position in the Steam team. And CMC is the best in his position in the team. So I think I want to go CMC there. I wish Justin Reed got deep zone KO. He's the only safety that doesn't get it. I think I'm leaning CMC personally. I also think a lot of you guys like him because of the popularity as well. He's a dog. Yeah, I'm going CMC, boys. Let me know who are you guys choosing for the long haul. I appreciate y'all staying around to the end of the video. We got some top 10s coming up this weekend as well. I hope you guys enjoy those while I'm out of town. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.